Hey, I'm Joel. Welcome to the Joy of Fixing. So the house is kind of torn up right now. I have somebody helping out with some projects around here because as this disability I'm facing tends to creep worse and worse, I'm able to do less and less, which has changed my ability to put out content a lot. We're hoping for good things, and that's not what this video is about today. But it is kind of a health thing because we're trying to get the healthiest drinking water we can for our family and for our kids. After seeing what happened up in East Palestine and as well as out west of Tennessee on the Mississippi border, there's been multiple crazy chemical spills affecting the water supply and some of that water supply comes right on down through where we get our water. Not to mention that we also live near multiple mining operations and a ton of agriculture, which means even post filter, our water is so hard that it'll literally increase your plaque. It leaves residue on everything, every drinking cup. It's just a mess. And on top of it, there's tons of glycophosphates, weed killer, unfilterable pharmaceuticals that make its way through the waste system. I just don't want to deal with it and I don't want my kids drinking it. So we're going to make sure we're getting our trace minerals in the vegetables and the other foods that we're eating. But other than that, we're trying drinking rainwater. And I got to tell you, we have been loving it. But I wanted to show you what we're doing with the water from our rainwater collection system that I showed you how to build a few weeks ago here and what our results have been using the Alexa Pure countertop filtration system. I don't get endorsed by Alexa Pure. They haven't sent me anything for free. I paid dearly for all my Alexa Pure stuff, but we did it for a reason. I truly believe it's better than the Berkey and a lot of other options out there for reasons that I'll discuss later in this video or at least towards the end of the video. But either way, long enough intro, let's get to it. I wanna show you what we're doing with the rainwater. And I'll talk about some other stuff while we go through the video and the footage I filmed. The very first thing I wanna do is take this picture of rainwater I showed you right there and dump it through the Alexa Pure and just give you a little idea of what I have going on in the top of my Alexa Pure. Now, of course, I'm pouring it straight in here to just show you what it's like if I pour it straight in. I don't have a lot of debris in my rainwater due to a little bit of pre-filtration, but sometimes I filter it another way, which I'll show you soon. But there is the snorkel kit that I purchased. I'll tell you more about that later. And also, of course, the black Alexa Pure filter in there that you can see when the filter isn't necessarily dealt with a full hopper, Filters at about that rate. Uh, not very fast because it is going through an incredible filter. Um, science would argue the best filter of any of these systems in the industry right now. Um, so let's go back outside and collect some rainwater. Uh, it's raining now, so there's just rain pouring off the barrel. But like you can see, here's a nice fresh pitcher of water. Now if you can see all the hard water spots on this pitcher, that's because this pitcher is used only for taking water from the sink, straight up to the Alexa Pure. And since we switched to the rainwater now, we don't really have those spots on this picture anymore. Um, but it's been a few days since I filmed this, so deal with it. So let's walk this thing into the house. And usually I'm taking about three full pitchers this size to fill the top hopper in the Alexa Pure, maybe just a little bit more. So check it out. One thing I want to show you is this valve. This is not an Alexa Pure valve. This is actually a Berkey valve, much like the thing you'd see on like a professional coffee making thing, one of the big urns. I use that for a reason, and I'll talk a little bit more about it here in a second. Again, you can see the snorkel kit there and the Alexa Pure filter. The Alexa Pure filters are made in the USA, which I am very happy to see. Um, as you can see it here is some sort of a carbon filter. Um, this thing's incredible. Just the nano filtration it gives, I'm blown away by. And in the description, I will try to post a link to this scientific study that I've seen. It was from a scientist that works at a filter testing company. And it's the company that Berkey pays to do their filtration testing. And they just on their own decided that they were going to test the Alexa Pure filter for fun without any endorsement or any money from Alexa Pure. And they determined that the Alexa Pure filter was far superior to the Berkey system, even against fluoride and the weed killers, Roundup, glycophosphate, stuff like that. They rated this as not just the best, but the best above all by a lot. So what I've been doing here now is trying to find other ways to filter the rainwater in when I do get some leaf debris in that barrel. Now, like you can see here, you can try to use the paper towel over the top of the screen. This screen is just something I picked up at the dollar store that you put over, you know, frying pans to keep them from splattering. Now, the thing about putting things on top of the screen is eventually the material like the paper towel soaks and it starts dripping out over the edge and you get water all over your countertop. Not so great. 
The other thing I've tried, of course, is something like a towel, a nice, clean, sterile wash towel or something from the kitchen. But again, you run into the problem if you're combining it with the screen of it gets wet, it starts dripping over the edges. So this is still not a solution for me. I will tell you what the solution is in a minute. But at the end of the day, honestly, your Alexa Pure filter is going to catch absolutely everything. The only reason to try to filter it with cloth like this is for the sake of just having to clean the filter less often in the Alexa Pure. All of this extra filtration attempt is completely unnecessary and I've only added it to show you things that I've tried. So again, this towel, I want you to see what's going to happen here so you don't have to make this mistake. It's starting to sop out to the edges and it'll drip all over the countertop. Let's get going. I don't want to show you any more of this. You get it. Now here's another thing that we've tried is the IKEA towel because the IKEA towel is a little more porous and it's pretty cool. But again, over the top of the screen, it isn't great. You can see it's very porous, so there's a lot of room for the water to get through there. So this is a specific kind of towel. It's not like a bath towel or a washcloth or the paper towel. It's got a lot of room for the water to get through, but still, you're going to soak out this towel. It's going to pour over the edge of the screen. Not great. Now this is my preferred way of using a towel for filtration. And again, this is only to just elongate the time between you having to clean those filters out. I take that IKEA style towel. Really, a lot of other towels will work for this too, but this one lets the water through quickly and filters good. And I put the screen on top of it. That way, if there's large debris for some reason, you can start by just letting that big screen catch it, and then the less porous, finer towel catching the last of the small debris. Every once in a while, you get some leaf debris coming through, and this is just a great way to keep it from getting in your hopper and prematurely clogging up that filter because you don't want to be washing it out all the time, although it is a super resilient filter. So, Here's a shot of the rainwater straight out of the barrel. As you can see, it's already pretty clean. I got a good setup going, but you can still see a little floaters and stuff like that in there. Look at the hard water deposits from my city water, and that's after a lot of rainwater. It's taken that long to get it off of that pitcher. Even as well filtered as I have it at the barrel, it isn't perfect because I'm trying not to restrict water flow. So of course, we've got a little bit of floaties and stuff like that in here, and of course the Alexa Pure filter will catch that. And honestly, in this case, I may not even pour it through the towel or the screen. Sometimes I just pour it straight through the screen. In fact, out of the rainwater barrel, I always pour it through the screen. And you know, sometimes it doesn't catch anything, but at least I know I'm not sitting there having to inspect the water every time I pour it through. I just know it will at least catch the bigger debris. But as you can see, it's usually coming out pretty clean and that's wonderful. So here's the inside of the Alexa Pure Hopper again. First thing I wanna point out is this awesome snorkel. People say this is stupid, I say it's awesome. I found a guy online that makes and sells these. You can make one yourself, but honestly he was selling them for like 25 bucks and it's easy to support someone having a small side business and to just have it made for you. That thing is great because once you put the metal lid on top of this or on top of the Berkey or on top of any of them, once the water starts pulling down through that filter into the bottom, it starts creating a suction up in this top reservoir and it sucks that top on like a vacuum and there's not enough air coming in for the water to filter at its absolute optimal speed. So you never want to slow that filter down from processing the water, and that's why I like that snorkel. If I didn't have that snorkel, the lid suction's on and the water takes twice as long to filter. I highly encourage you guys to find that snorkel, and in fact, I'll try to post a link to it if I can find it in the description as well. This is the one and only Berkey part I suggest, because it has nothing to do with the filtration. This thing is a view tube, so you can see how much water is in that lower reservoir and you know if you need to refill it. Now granted, it's always a guessing game, but since I refill with a pitcher, I've marked out this view window with these little rubber bands, and it'll tell me exactly how many pitchers I need to fill this thing back up, so I don't overfill the top. Because if you overfill the top, and the bottom gets full, it'll start leaking all over the countertop. So you always want to make sure you're using the right amount of water. I'm going to lift the top of this off before we talk anymore and again show you just what's going on here. You can see all the plugs underneath there and you can see how fast the water filters now when it's full because there's more pressure on that water through the filter. You can fit up to four filters into this thing, but honestly to me it's a waste of money to have four expensive filters in there. One's enough, it keeps up. I thought about doing two, I think it's overkill, I'd rather have the extra filters around just in case. So back to this, like you can see these little band marks I've put on there, that's when I know it's full inside there. 
because that top sits down inside the bottom just a little bit like a flange. Each one of these rubber band marks for me was one pitcher, and you can mark this according to any pitcher you have if you fill with a pitcher, which I, re I, I encourage you to do because then your kids can fill it and they know what they're doing. So the space between one of those, that's one full pitcher. What I did was I filled this thing to its full mass, marked where top was, then drained out one pitcher into my pitcher. Then I knew where to mark it for the next pitcher. Then I drained out another pitcher, and I knew where to mark it for the next pitcher. And then I had my indication. So this helps me a ton because it's easy to just look at the mark and tell one of the kids, hey, put two or three pitchers of water in there, and I know they're not going to overfill it because they can't lift the top up and look in the bottom. So that's my hot tip. This has like saved us from flooding the counter a ton of times. So moving on, I love this little Berkey filler. It also locks so you can fill up larger containers with it like your big thermoses. But I want to show you how clean this filtered water is by the time it comes out. All that's left in there is a little air from aerating it from falling out of the spout, I suppose you'd call it, whatever. But that water is clean and delicious. Now I'm going to show you what that water looks like straight out of the rain barrel. The reason I did this was to give you a comparison of exactly what kind of filtration you're getting. Now I encourage you putting filters into the leaf barrel, but you can't put too much in or you're not going to collect enough water quick enough. So it's kind of a game of filters. Um, if you go ahead and look at that, you can see there's a little bit of junk in there. Maybe some organic material coming off the gutter from some of the trees around or you know something like that but I don't want to drink this I have no desire to drink this just like I wouldn't drink something out of a river I'm not gonna drink this coming off of my roof through the dirty gutters even though the gutters have been pressure washed out so here's another thing I wanted to show you these are clean wine glasses crystal clear one of them's filled with my tap water here filtered through the Alexa Pier and the other one was rainwater filtered through the Alexa Pier and here's why I did that so thanks to my children, I lost the footage of those two cups dried, but that was the point. The point was I dried those out and one of them was absolutely covered in water spots because of our hard water. And the other one was crystal clear because the rainwater is just so clean and pure. It wasn't hard and full of all of that calcium and you know, whatever other stone minerals are making it through just because we're close to some mining operations that affect our water. That makes an excellent point to end this portion of the video on is the Alexa Pure filter will not filter out your essential minerals, which is really great because many of these other big filter systems do. They take out all the trace minerals that you're supposed to have daily. They keep you healthy. They keep your electrolytes up. You don't want to be filtering all that stuff out. So that brings me to my second point. If you're going to filter and drink rainwater, you need to make sure that you're getting your trace minerals. And I'm not going to tell you how to do that. I know how we do that, but I'm telling you, make sure you're getting your trace minerals. You know, you can get that just through your diet, just through some vitamins. A lot of your vegetables are going to have that. Some of your fruits are going to have that. Some of the meats you're going to eat are going to have that. And of course, there's supplements to take for that. It's not a big lifestyle change. It's just something you need to be aware of because you don't want to be filtering all your trace minerals out of your water and not actually having them in your body. So we're aware of that. We're handling that. And I got to tell you, the water's delicious. If you know what it smells like when there's a fresh rain outside, just that great smell of a fresh rainstorm. That's what the water tastes like. It's delicious and it's clean and it's crisp and even at room temperature, it's just such refreshing tasting water. We of course add a couple of mineral drops to the water. I'm not even gonna share the brand that we use because I just don't wanna make any recommendations on that. I want you to do what's right for you. I'm just talking to you about filtering rainwater and the reasons I like the Alexa Pure filter. <clears throat> like I said earlier in the video, there's a laboratory that did an independent test of the Alexa Pure filters and they found them to be wildly superior to the Berkey filters. And not just superior to the Berkey filters, but also the Berkey filters with the added on fluoride filter, the Alexa Pure still knocked it out of the park. So I'm gonna try to find a link for that and post it in the description as soon as I can find it because that was the final nail in the coffin on the discussion of which one of these units that we would buy. I highly suggest you buy it. I think the best price that we found on it was on mypatriotsupply.com and it's because it's a prepper site. 
so obviously they must buy and distribute in a huge bulk, but it was the best price to get in there and get one with multiple filters, the extra spigot, an extra gasket, an extra knob for the lid, all the little stuff that you'd want in case it broke down or you had a thing in the future. The other thing I suggest, of course, is that Berkey uh, valve thing with the view window on it that we use. I like that a lot. You don't have to use it. What I use it for is keeping track of how full is it without having to lift the top off because that's dumb and how many pitchers of water do I need to add to the top to fill it up without overflowing the bottom reservoir of filtered water. So I hope this was helpful to you. I just can't preach the greatness of that Alexa Pure enough and I cannot tell you how delicious that rainwater is. You just got to try it for yourself. I could send you a jar for a hundred bucks. Hit me in the comments. Glad to go get you a fresh mason jar and send you some filtered rainwater. But I think for a hundred bucks, you're probably pretty close to being able to build your own rainwater collection system. You know, you're pretty close to just needing to buy the Alexa Pier at that point. And I promise it's worth it. I sound like a salesman, don't I? I know. But I really do love it. Our family loves it. We've been using it for years now and it's still something I'm very excited about. Um, you know, one Alexa Pure filter is rated for 10,000 gallons. So you can build a big old barrel system in an emergency situation if you want. It'll filter all year long. And there are people out there that have testimonies of using them for multiple years. With just a light cleaning, you can maintain that filter. And that's incredible. We've used the filter on ours right now for well over a year. And I'm like waiting for it to get gross or clogged up or slow down and I just maintain it by wiping it off the way that it's instructed to, and it's been great, and the water's staying filtered well, and the water tests stay consistent. So I'm super happy with my Alexa Pure. I'm just overwhelmed with how awesome the rainwater has been, and I think at this point, what I'd ask you to do is, if you have any more questions, or you have any more experience with this, or you'd just like to add to the discussion, this is where you hop into the comments, people, because the comment section is always a great place for discussion, ideas, experience, questions. We have had such awesome discussions in some of the other videos, and people bring real experience to the game. Of course, you're going to find a couple of jerks, but if people get abusive, I delete them, I ban them. So sorry, you guys, we won't survive long in the comment section if you're abusive towards the people in this channel. We're all trying to grow and learn together and share experience and knowledge and take care of each other. So thanks a bunch for watching, you guys. It's been good to put out this piece of content because although it may not be building something, it's a, it's a near and dear issue to my heart. And I'm super excited to have shared it with you. So talk to you guys in the comments soon. Please like the video if you liked it. Comment on the video. I'd just love to hear your comments and talk to you. I try to answer every single one of them and sometimes they just turn into conversations. And of course, Please subscribe to the channel. Please share it with other people that are into this type of lifestyle and these types of projects. I'd, I'd love to build the community. That's what we're trying to do. And uh, just thanks for watching. Hit the notification bell if you want. It'll let you know when I have new content come out. Sometimes it's a long time. Sometimes I put a few out at the same time. Anyway, talk to you later. Have a good day. God bless. You are special.